Hello again. You might think that David Starkey, the historian, ticks all the boxes in modern society for being a darling of the liberal intelligentsia. He's a homosexual and was born with not one but two club feet. Then too, he had polio as a child, which affected his legs adversely. Surely this is just the kind of fellow, disabled and gay, who should thrive in today's society. Alas, he has an awkward habit of saying out loud what everybody knows, but we all wish not to think about. Three years ago, for instance, he said quite correctly that the transatlantic slave trade was not genocide. It was a very awful thing, of course, nobody denies that, but it was not the deliberate killing of a large number of people belonging to a particular nation or ethnic group with the aim of destroying that group. Indeed, deliberately killing people from West Africa would rather have defeated the object of the exercise, which was a commercial one. Nevertheless, this was enough to see Starkey cancelled, as we now call it. His publisher dropped him and he became an academic outcast. The only place he now appears on television is GB News. And now he's in trouble there as well. Why? Because talking about the coronation, he said that Prime Minister Rishi Sunak is a man of immense power, of extraordinary skill, but really not fully grounded in our culture. He was referring, as he explicitly made clear, to the fact that Sunak is a practicing Hindu and Charles is the head of the Anglican Church. The coronation is a religious ceremony full of Christian symbolism, so I dare say that a Hindu won't really feel about it the way that churchgoers, or even the average English person who only goes to church at Christmas might. GB News tweeted this remark of Starkey's, but have now deleted the tweet. The cowards. The usual suspects are now going mad and accusing him of racism. This is so loopy that one hardly knows where to begin. Lord knows I've nothing whatever against Hindus, but somebody raised as a Hindu simply is not going to appreciate the coronation in the same way that a Christian would. Not only that, but there's no tradition of Rishi Sunak's family showing any particular attachment to any country or even continent for more than a few years at a time. His parents were born in Africa, his grandparents were born in India, his wife's not a British citizen, and when he became Chancellor of the Exchequer, he had a green card, meaning that he was intending to emigrate to America. He was an American taxpayer while Chancellor of the Exchequer. Anybody seriously think that he's grounded in our culture in the same way as those of us whose families have been here for a thousand years? I wouldn't have thought so. In the description to this video, I'll give a, a brief uh, a link to a brief account of this nonsense. It's a classic example of somebody speaking quite plainly and saying something true that we all know to be true, and then everybody getting worked up into a synthetic fury over it and pretending to be upset.